Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to go through the basics of animation because you kind of need to have this base to kind of understand how animation works and then we can go on from there and start doing like stuff like lip sync and walk cycles and all that stuff. So yeah, let's go ahead and start. So first of all, I'm going to grab a cube and this is the best way of demonstrating how keyframes work. So let's go into our timeline like so and we need to see so windows timeline dope, dope sheet and I actually have it on my other screen but I'm going to just drag it onto this screen. So what we get here is the timeline. So we can, if you want, you can click and drag this here. If you wanna, if you want, you can do this. And so now we have two timelines here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and add some keyframes. So at frame zero, like so, let's add a keyframe. So my command is shift C, but I'm gonna show you what it is. So click this button and add a keyframe on frame zero. Go to frame 10 and hit the record button and that shall automatically key out that position. Uh, and as you can see, the timeline automatically added that cube and it'll summarize all the keyframes in um, in the viewport right now. So if I add another cube and I move this say here, you can see it added that second cube uh, because it has a keyframe. But say we want to have just one object in the timeline, uh, you can just go ahead and grab this in, drag it in, and now we have only that cube. And if you want this cube as well, you just drag it in. And you can always delete it by right clicking and remove selected objects or remove all objects. So I'm just gonna keep the cube we just made, uh, the previous cube we made in the timeline and we're gonna work with that. Okay, so I'm just gonna move this here because it's getting it annoying, but anyway. Um, so as you can see, there are these three uh, dots here. So one, two, three, and that actually, four, uh, and that actually represents a frame. So the cube will be on that position on those frames. As you can see, it's snapping to those. And if you move this around, you can see it kind of also um, has a live feedback on it. Uh, and this is the keyframe. So if we move this, you can see it's moving the keyframe we made at zero. And if we were to move this one, you can go ahead and move that as well. If we made a keyframe on frame five, you can actually move this as well. So yeah, very cool. I don't suggest you use this because you don't have control of why it's going in 3D space. Um, I'm pretty sure that should be a way of how you can measure that. Um, but yeah, whatever. For now, we're just gonna work normally and yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and edit the F curve. So what that is, is basically, so if I click on this, it'll go into F curve mode, and that'll show us all the rotations and movements of the cube in this graph. So it'll sh it'll come as a, like a graph. So if I open this up, and now I just, you can select each individual um, component of the moving cube. Um, so let's go ahead and select all the positions, and you can see nothing's happening on the Y and the X, because we didn't move it, but on the Z, you can see it's got this curvature yeah <laughs> so this is how it records position and rotation and scale uh, using these f curves so what we can do is we can actually edit it so if i just select the z so what's happening right now is it's slowly gathering speed speeding up here and then it slows down here and it stops so say we want to change it so that it slowly starts and then speeds up and then stops instantaneously we can go ahead and do that so if we uh, if we move this like so so now what we just said is for it to sp slowly start like that slowly start speed up and it'll just stop very abruptly so if I hit play you can see that okay so say you want to add a keyframe you can hold control and click on the line and that shall add a keyframe so you can uh, always have that um, and now if you want to add a say we want to go on the y-axis a little so we can go ahead and select both uh, and now let's, oh yeah, to move around, you press hold down one and two, that'll zoom in and out. So let's hold down one, and then we can hold control and click, and I'll add a keyframe on frame five, move this up, and now we got the y-axis, a little bit of movement on the y-axis. So as you can see, it's not in the right place. Let's just go ahead and move, I want it to be in the middle. So let's say around here, and we can just uh, move the, this like that, and now we got that. So, yeah, so a quick little tip. So say we have like plenty of objects like this, all with keyframes like that. And we grab this all into the timeline like so. And we make a keyframe on frame zero like so. So that'll kind of um, tell the timeline that these are all the objects that are moving. And when you press Q, it's gonna add a keyframe for all those objects. So this is useful when you're animating your character and you wanna keyframe all the body components or facial components. All you have to do is move your mouse into the timeline and press Q and that'll keyframe all the objects we keyframe um, uh, like simultaneously. So yeah, so if, say if I hit these two and I press keyframe, so these two 
two are the ones with keyframes and I move here and I press Q, it's going to only keyframe those two ones. So I suggest you use this normal timeline to animate with and then when you're finalizing animation you would use F-curve mode. Um, it's kind of impossible to animate with F-curve mode, you can but it'll just take a lot of time. So what I would suggest is you just go ahead and make an animation then you kind of smoothen it out with F-curve mode and that'll kind of help your time, uh, speed up your workflow. Uh, I actually manage by just using this timeline up here. So I actually don't need this one down here, but I do use it occasionally when I'm um, uh, smoothing out my animation, getting the timing right. So, okay, so that concludes this tutorial. If you have any suggestions, just leave them down below. And in the next tutorial, I'm probably gonna go through walk cycles or lip sync. So yeah.